Well, hello friends. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Maggie, and today we are going to be swatching my entire Sydney Grace eyeshadow collection. Uh, you can see there are seven shadows in total, which I know is not a lot compared to the professional makeup artist or people who do YouTube professionally on this platform, but this is what I'm comfortable with. I have purchased a few times, I would say I've made like three total purchases from Sydney Grace in the past. The shipping is always fantastic. There's very clear communication, so I really appreciate that. Also, if you're not familiar, I should probably give a little overview. Sydney Grace is a indie eyeshadow brand, and if you are looking to kind of get into the indie market, I would say this is a fantastic company to go with because a lot of the shadows, they range from like five to eight dollars, and they have such a wide range of colors, and their website is very easy to navigate. So I really appreciate all that. And I just thought that I could share some of the prettiest colors with you today. So I've got three mattes and then four shimmers, and three of these have a very intense duo slash multi-chrome. I've got my window opened so we can get some natural light. I've got both my ring lights going, and let's just go ahead and get started. I'm going to swatch the mattes first. So let us begin with the first shade the most perfect transition color there is. This is in the shade Toffee. And what I love about these matte shadows is that they blend so easily. You really can't go wrong. I would say um, they're very beginner friendly without sacrificing um, pigmentation, which is something that I think a lot of brands, you know, they blend easily, but they're not as pigmented, etc., etc. And there you go, the most perfect transition shade you could ever want. And then I ventured a bit into some more colorful shadows. This one is in the shade Seafoam, a very light green. Yeah, Seafoam is a perfect name for this. That's exactly what I think of when I look at this color. And the more colorful mattes, same kind of quality. Like, look at that pigmentation, man and they blend just as seamlessly. This is an ideal transition shade if you have a lot of like blue and green eyeshadow. This makes it so easy to work into your eye looks. We love a good colorful transition. And then this one is Scuba Diver. I don't know, I just thought it was pretty. It's a very nice blue. It's a little more muted, um, not quite as intense as the other matte blues on the website. And again, the same sort of beautiful quality and pigmentation, like, oh my goodness. I just wanna put that on my eyeballs right now. Let me build it up a bit so you can kind of see. Yeah, it's stunning. I'm going to turn the brightness down just a hair so you can kind of see it a bit easier. So now that we have swatched my pretty mattes, let us move on to the shimmers. Yeah, like, look at how stained my fingers are. <laughs> Holy yikes, if it'll fit. Yep, they're stained. Oh well, please ignore that. Okay, so I want to start with, like, lightest working my way into darkest. That seems to be, like, the easiest way to do this. Don't talk with your hands, Maggie. They're so stained. Okay, so this first one is called Winter Garden, and I was especially drawn to this just because it's a very, like, gentle shimmer, and yet it's got so much depth to it. So hopefully swatches will capture with just the slightest blue reflect. If you want to get into duochromes but you're a bit hesitant, this is excellent because it's still, like, it's decently pigmented, but it's not overwhelming. It's just very, um, refined is, I think, a good word. And then I don't even got to know what this is. This is the greatest gift. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful shade this is. It's got hints of, like, everything. So you can kind of see there's, like, some blue, some green, and it's got a similar purple base, but a bit more purple than um, Winter Garden. Winter Garden is a bit more brown. And again, it's a very refined shade. It's not something that's gonna overwhelm. Oh, it is just so pretty. All right, this one I, I love. Um, this kind of deep red shimmer. Oh, it's so messy, I'm so sorry. This is Queen of Hearts. You can see, like, this would just make 
the most beautiful outer corner shimmer. Like what I like to do with this is I'll put a gold shadow on the lid and then this in the outer corner and it's stunning. I suppose you could blend it out if you wanted to like make a little ready smoky eye with it. That would look really nice. We saved the best for last. This is Red Chameleon. This is kind of, if you're familiar with shades like MAC Club or their blue brown pigment, this is extremely similar, but it has like a next level intensity. So you'll notice there's a red brown base with just a insanely strong blue green shift. Whoa, right? And they swatch, like the shimmers are so creamy and consistently good. I just can't get enough of this shade. Let's um, blend it out a bit so you can kind of see. Because what I think would be beautiful, I haven't done this, but I really should, is just um, kind of make it like a one shadow look. Because you really could, couldn't you? Just kind of blend that into the crease. Gosh, that would look so nice. So there you go, folks. My entire Sydney Grace eyeshadow collection. I should add more, shouldn't I? <laughs> All right, let's get the family back together. And there you have it. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Um, if you would like to see any more specific brand swatches, please leave a comment down below. I will say that of all of my indie shadows, I definitely own the most from Sydney Grace, but that may change, you know, as I um, build my collection a bit more. So if there's anything you'd like to see specifically, uh, just leave a comment and I will do my best to get back to you. So as always, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!